All right, so tell us, what are you doing today? Hey, everybody. This is my DIY project. It's my basement. And I had a little helper, but he didn't come back. So he started out the process. So I ended up having to paint the floors. I did that. And he was supposed to put back all the baseboards. So I had to get on my knees and put all the baseboards back. I nailed them in. They used to be carpet. Now what I am going to do, these holes that you see there, I'm going to fill all those in with concrete. But today, today and today only, I'm going to paint this barn door that's going to be hung in the bedroom of this three room, I guess you could call it apartment, basement. So I'm going to be painting the barn door. And if you'll notice, the couch here has this wonderful teal in it. And so I got some teal paint to kind of give some accent to some of this uh, cream and gray. So I wanted a little teal accent. So that's the color that the door is going to be. And then I also have a, a wall fixture that I'm gonna paint the same teal color. So based on my research, they said the best way to do a semi-whitewashed door is to get some club soda or sparkling water and put that, mix it in with your paint. And not just that, that instead of using a paintbrush, you use a sponge. That instead of using a paintbrush, you use a sponge. And so that's what this process is. I will confess, this is my first time doing a whitewash door but i have no doubt it's going to be amazing so first thing i'm going to do is shake up the paint i got this paint about three days ago so it may not be mixed as well as it was so we're going to mix it shake it up real good i have my paint opener i'm not using um anything but the right tools and I'm going to take some of this paint and put it in this little paint jar here. And then I'm going to mix some of the sparkling water. Isn't that a lovely color? I love it. Now, I haven't put down my floor covering yet, but I know I need to do that. So give me a second to get that done because I'm confident I'm going to drop paint on the floor that I just painted. There used to be carpet down here, but I had a tenant that had a dog. Need I say anything else? All right. We're all on the same page now. Mix a little club soda. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you shake it. when you shake the club soda. You can expect an eruption. All right. Yes. Want to get the right consistency? So that's that. I'm gonna stir it up really good and see what we have. Mmm. Looks like blue soup. Yum, yum. Good old blue soup. Nah, I won't taste it. I'm gonna make it just a little thinner so we get a nice whitewash feel. Mm -hmm. Stir it up a little more, make sure it's good mixed with the club soda. All right, with that in mind, we'll use one of our sponges just to kind of wipe off the stir. Such a beautiful color. I'm so excited about this. Oh my goodness. All right, so we'll do a little dipping and then we'll go forth. 
And see, the great thing about the sponge, it allows the paint to be absorbed um, in the wood, but it also kind of shows you the wood grain, which is wonderful. Isn't that a great color? I love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm doing it in a circular motion. Not too much. This Actually, this top part has a little bit too much on it because it should be a thin coat. So much fun. So here's the beginning. I'm gonna finish this and you will see the finished product. I'm excited. Hold on. Well, here we are, one side done and one to go. Um, it took a little longer than I thought it would just because it's fresh wood, but when it dries, it's gonna dry kind of spotty, which is good. And then I'm gonna do something on top of it to make it look a little more whitewashed or um, kind of ragged, kind of rough. I want a ragged, rough look. And so as I see like little light spots here, I'll take this sponge and kind of fill them in so that it doesn't leave it too white. But yeah, it's gonna be a great looking door. I'm looking forward to it. And this is something you can do. And just like music is something that really relaxes me, I have found that painting really relaxes me. So as I'm stuck inside, I'm sheltering in place, I'm doing something. I'm doing my own work and I'm loving it. It is so much fun. Next time, you'll have to join me. I'll look forward to you singing, seeing this whole thing hung tomorrow. So it's gonna be hung tomorrow and you'll be able to see how it looks. So I'm excited. Thank you so much for spending time with me during this DIY moment.